Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to take you on a real quick home tour, <clears throat> our 2019 Christmas home tour with me. I did not do a ton to the house, but I do have a few cute little trees that I wanna show you guys. So I'm gonna actually start back in the bedroom and kind of work myself out there. I know if you've seen my previous video, which I'll link up top here, um, but I just kind of added some stuff back in the bedroom I wanted to show you guys, the tree, made it a little bit more full, added some pillows in there, and then I'm gonna kind of work my way out um, through the house and show you guys the entryway again. And I did add some more stuff in there and I did get the living room done. But like I said, I didn't go overboard this year with stuff because we're gonna be out of town and I just didn't want to have to come back from vacation and clean up a million Christmas things all over the house. And it's still, I'm still kind of figuring out kind of what I wanna do in the kitchen area back here behind me kind of new with the tier trays. So I can't wait to show you that and see what you guys think about the tier trays that I've got. But I do want to show you guys, I am going to share a Christmas recipe with you guys. So I'm going to share my peanut butter cookies with you guys here in just a second. And how I do that, I actually make them two different ways. So I'm going to show you guys one with butterscotch chips and one without butterscotch chips. Basically same thing. You just add butterscotch chips to the other one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get that started. I'm going to show you guys that. And I am going to link the recipe down below in the description box so you guys can have that. But I think that's all I got right now for the Christmas tour. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this started. So I'm going to start in the bedroom. This is above or above. This is below our TV. There are lights that go in these houses, these Thomas Kincaid houses, but I did not want to tackle that this year because I don't know how I'm going to hide the cords. So that's what I'm trying to figure out for next year, how I can hide those cords. So I got all these Thomas Kincaid houses. I've got more out in the uh, living room that I'll show you guys, but these all came from my grandma's house. She collected them. Other than I added these little um, pipe trees that I got at Target. I got those at Target. This is my little Scentsy guy. He's my little Scentsy buddy. Um, he smells like vanilla. He smells great. And then my candle. I actually got the candles this year. I think from Michael's is where I got them. I think they're three for $9.99 right now. You can use a coupon on them too. And then I got this stuff. This I've had for years. I don't even know where I got that, but I've had it for years. And every year I think, oh, I'm going to throw it away. But I'm kind of glad I didn't do that. It's sparkly. It's real pretty. So I just grabbed that and put it on a little cake stand. I got that at Target. And then again, those two little trees I got at Target also and that sign. Welcome to our winter wonderland. And then over here is our tree. So since I did the tree in my like two videos ago, the first one I did when I redid this whole room, I added this deco mesh and I, the, um, the picks in here that look like they are cover with snow and sparkle. I got those both at Michael's the other day. So this came from Target and I absolutely love it. And then same thing with all the ornaments on this tree. I all got them all at Target and there's this one. I love, 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 love these. They're great. I just wanted this room to be winter, wonderland. Um, I did end up putting the little picture down here down here that I got at Target and then I did do I did these two trees I was gonna put stuff on them but the cats have been obsessed with them so I've not done anything with them as you can see he's since two minutes ago messed with it also and then I hung a wreath from the mirror in here all I did was take some fishing wire and then just tape it to the back of that tree and then I changed the drapes in here to make it more white I just wanted it to be clean and fresh in here. So the bed stuff, there's Kiki. He's getting up from his old man nap. He's been here, I think, all day. <laughs> That's where he is all day. And then I come home from work. Hi, bud. Is that your spot? Yeah? Yeah? That's your spot. I know you're a good boy. So I did redo um, the bed. I got new bed cover. This is so soft. So the one side of it is really soft. And then the other side is Sherpa. And I had no idea when I bought it. I actually got this at Target. It was on... Sale. I think they had them like 25% off when I bought them a couple weeks ago, but I already had these Christmas sheets. I had bought them years ago and have only used them a couple times. I got them at, uh, I think like a Steinmart maybe. I got them down south somewhere. So I did that to the bed. I already had this pillow. It came from Walmart. It, they actually still have this pillow, but I just grabbed it out of the closet. And then these I usually keep in the living room, but I thought they'd be cute out here. And then I have my Made with Love Mrs. Claus pillow that I've gotten here that I got at Target. And then I was at, I actually got this. I don't know where this came from. I got this as a gift, but it's really soft. I think it came from Walmart though. 
I don't know what ladies over there are currently doing. What are you doing? Oh, I know what she's doing. There's peanut butter pretzels inside the drawer. <laughs> That's what she's doing. And I found this pillow at Ross. So I just stuck it in here because Mrs. Claus kind of has some red in it. So I thought I'd bring in a little pop of color and not be so white in here. But that's that side of it. And then this side of it is just candy cane. You could turn it around if you wanted it that way. But I like it with the, the Happy Holidays on it. I thought it was really cute for this little couch in here. Tied it in a little bit nicely. So that's kind of where our bedroom is right now with the winter wonderland. See, there he goes. He's eating the tree. Weirdo. I don't know. Oh, yep. What happened? Oopsie. Oh, well, I think those trees are probably gonna come down before too long. <laughs> oh, well, okay, on to the next room. So the bathroom I really didn't do a lot in this year. I did leave my little um, wax mill. I left my elephant up there. They had some at Walmart that are really cute, but I didn't find any that I liked for this room. I just hung up these cream towels that I had. I did just add the Caldrea um, cleaning supplies in here. I added the countertop spray, which I actually used today because I dumped the wax melt onto the counter. And then I've got my um, linen and room spray and then the um, hand soap. It is great. And you guys, that smell, the Tangelo palm frond is amazing. I actually made this little tree last year. I just bought the tree from the Dollar Tree and I just sprayed with that, um, that white snow stuff that I use in the bedroom tree also. And then I just hot glued these little, as you can see, you can kind of see it if you look at it. Hot glue those on there, but it does have little lights. The lights came from Target last year in the dollar spot, maybe? I think that's where I got those. And then I just added my little Hallmark snowman and dog in here. So the guest bedroom always has lights up here on the bed. I always have those up there, but I want to show you guys the tree in the dark and then lit with the light on them in the bedroom. Sorry, I can't talk. So this tree is rose gold. I know on camera it does look silver, but it is rose gold and I love this tree. I wasn't gonna put any um, ornaments on it, but I found these ornaments at Walmart. So the tree, I just put one of those white tree screws down here because you really can't see anything in here, so I didn't feel like it mattered. But the tree itself, like I said, these are pink. There's some of those and then some of them are sparkly. But the tree has rose gold, but I know it looks silver on um, the camera, but I love this tree. I actually got the idea from Love Meg. If you guys watch her, she's amazing. If you don't, you need to watch her because she's great. I love and she had put feathers on her tree in her living room and I just thought it looked so pretty and girly and it just, it was just something different instead of putting ribbon on it. And I love how this tree turned out. Okay, now we're in the entryway, so I'm going to show you guys this too with the lights off and with lights on. So in the entryway, what I did is I just kind of kept it simple too. I just wanted something else up in here. So I just added this star pillow that I got at Target. I'll turn the lights on here in just a sec. But here's more of those Thomas Kincaid houses that I've got. to Michael's and I grabbed some of this cobalt blue ribbon to go in it. It just needed something else, I thought. So I grabbed that. I did, there's Hedwig. There's the blue ones. There's Dumbledore and Harry. This one actually makes noise. Professor Dumbledore will be waiting for you. Sherbet lemon. This, I actually picked up at Walmart. They have little packages where you just open them and you don't know what you're gonna get. So I got that one and then I've got another one down at the bottom of the tree. But I hung up some reindeer so they could be like Harry Potter's Patronus.
I thought that one was cute. I wish it made noise, but it does not. And then down here, I've got my Narnia one here where she's going through the wardrobe. Can I see her in there? There's Lucy. Uh, there's that, and I use the skull, so it could be scary Harry Potter. And then there's Harry and Hagrid getting Hedwig. I did put some snow in these bowls. That snow stuff is not fun to put in there. Oh, here's this other little guy that I did get. I got him, that's Voldemort. It came in one of those little packages that I opened too with the Hermione one up there. So that's that. I just, I love this little tree so much. This is probably, this probably is my favorite tree. Another Harry Potter one. Let's see if I can get that out of the glare. There's that one. And then here's this one where he's catching the snitch. The snitch on the end. So cute. And then I went downstairs and I grabbed all of my Harry Potter books downstairs and I decided to add them also to the pile down here. So, so this is a tree and the light with everything. the living room I didn't really do a lot to the living room this year I didn't really do a lot to the um, mantle please excuse one of the stockings missing I know where it is <laughs> so there is that I have those stockings from two years ago Target had them I think they have a line that kind of looks like this whole line that I've got but it's kind of different it's got I think pink in it instead of so much blue and green I just added a string of lights up here to kind of just give it something up here. So this is the tree in all her glory. I love it. So there's the top of it with my bowl. All ornaments came from Target, even the big ones. Like I said, it's all one line except for these. These Justin already had downstairs and I just grabbed them and brought them up here. The tree does change color. It does go to color and then it will fade in and out um, white to color. But I absolutely love it. I love these picks that I got here. I got these at Walmart. And they were a pack of three for those. I think they were maybe $3.98 or $4.98, something like that. This stuff I got in the Dollar Tree, like I said, that one's a glitter mess. This stuff doesn't fall off. This one doesn't fall off as, at all compared to that one. So, and I think I got these at the Dollar Tree last year too. I just thought they were cute. And white, just add some white to the tree a little bit. But that's that tree. I... Love this tree so much. But there's that. That, so now we're going to the kitchen. And I did want to show you guys. So I haven't really done a lot to the table, but I don't think I'm going to do a lot to the table either. Um, I put my advent wreath out, but I have these little plates that I got from my grandma. So I just stuck them out here and I got these placemats. I absolutely love them. I think they were a pack of eight. I got them at TJ Maxx the other day, and I really like them. They're just something different. They're not so, like, I don't know. I just don't really like placemats, but those don't bother me so much. So there's that, and that's my wreath. I just added some more pine cones to it. So I just kind of decorated this just a little bit, not a lot, just in case I had to move stuff for the holidays here coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. Family's coming over. So I made these trees last year, just like the one in the bathroom. I just flocked them, and then I hot glued the little balls on there. I got all of it from the Dollar Tree. Um, the little containers, these gold containers, I actually got at Ikea. And then I just stuck them in some, um, I guess it's floral foam. I don't know, I got it at the Dollar Tree too and just stick it down in there. So then I've got, I love this thing. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie ever is Christmas Vacation. I would love to know what your guys' favorite Christmas movies are. I start watching that thing and I swear June and I can quote the entire thing and I love that movie so much. <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> oh, the house is gorgeous, Clark. <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> I hope you didn't do this all on our account, Clark. <laughs> Kids, come on out here and see what Uncle Clark's done to the house. <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> 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 and 
then I've got these little houses that I got. Actually, this these were in, I said actually like a hundred times. I'm sorry, guys. These came from, oh, I don't know if that's, little battery's gonna die. The Target dollar spot, but it was in the fall line. And they've got other different kind of houses. I think they've got some metal ones right now that are really, really pretty. Kind of galvanized tin roofs kind of thing. Over here, I have this pillow that I got. Um, I got this pillow at TJ Maxx. I didn't notice that it had two sides to it, but it does. It says nice on the other side. I was, so then there's this up here, Twas the Night Before Christmas. I also got that sign at TJ Maxx. I love that sign. I just went ahead and I took those wreaths from downstairs. They were ones that I used outside last year. But that's what I did for right there. We just have this huge wall right here. And I didn't know what to do with it. So that's what I did with it. And then I hung my mistletoe up up there. Oh, I want to show you guys this too. So my grandpa actually painted this and I'd bring it out during the winter. So we are in the kitchen now, just like the bedroom and the entryway. I had a couple more of these little wreaths that I got at Target. I don't think I've told you guys where I got those yet, but I got them at Target in the dollar spot. They were $3 a piece. So there's those. I just tied them to the back of the bar stools in the kitchen. Then over here at my coffee station, my coffee bar that I always have over here, I've got a little tree that I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are lit up. I can't see them in here very well, but they are lit up. They're just a necklace that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then this sprinkle container, I got at Dollar General. It was like $5. I just keep my coffee in there. And then I got this sign last year there. And I just thought I'd bring it out again because I like those colors out here. So I did this one this year. I had this little gingerbread towel, little recipe on it. My regular Mickey um, scoop that I use for the coffee. This pinch one I also got as a little set at the Dollar General. That one was, I think, $3. I had these little mugs. I think I've just gotten these mugs through the years from for gifts and stuff like that. So I just threw up, I had some spice apple cider. I had this little extra tree that I got at Ikea. I stuck it up there and I found this little container. It says milk for Santa at Walmart. And I put my coffee syrup in there. So then I just put some peppermint sticks in here and I had these two little snowmen that are, I think little, they have skis on. So I put those in there. But that's so over here I did add all my Christmas cleaning supplies and then some lotion because it, you know, obviously it's winter time and it's going to get dry. So I added my Mrs. Meyers clean stuff, my hand soap, my dish soap, and my multi-surface spray in the orange clove scent. I have another tiered tray that I kind of started over here. I'm trying to decide if I make another um, little topper for this little mug to go over here with this little guy. So this is just a little ornament from Walmart. He's a cute little gingerbread cookie. And then I just had a extra little ornament that I stuck up there with it. And then I have these little mug treats back here that I got. I don't even know where I got these at, but I got them. But I figured I'd stick them out just so over here. I decided to kind of decorate the um, KitchenAid mixer. I hung a towel outside of it, put some cookie cutters, put some sprinkles. And then I found this little cookie platter and the Santa's milk at Walmart. They were like $2.98 a piece. They were so cute. Then I ended up getting just some ornaments that matches that one that was over there on the um, other side of the stove, but these were 98 cents. Could not pass them up. They're just little cookies. So, so cute. I absolutely love it. So that's how that is decorated over here in this corner. So this recipe is in my $18.95 cookbook from Betty Crocker. It is really not 1895, I promise. It's just an old cookbook. I know right where the page is because I make them from there all the time. They are peanut butter cookies. So we're gonna need sugar, brown sugar, shortening, and the secret to my cookies is using butter Crisco. I'll show you. That is the secret to my cookie. I use Crisco that's butter flavored. So I, it's what I use and that is, <laughs> Sounds horrible, I know, but they make them great. And then I got sugar flour, shortening, peanut butter. I like using either Peter Pan peanut butter or I will use the reduced. What'd you hear me say? Did I say the P word?
Did I say the P word? Do you want some peanut butter? All right, we're gonna take a quick pause so I can get her some peanut butter and I'll explain to you guys what that is. Lady doesn't get treats often cause she's just kind of chunky. And her one favorite thing is peanut butter. And I'm like, where is she? She knows that word. If she's doing something and you want her attention, all you gotta do is use the P word. I got that. I'm gonna grab an egg. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, oh man, I don't know if I have an egg. <laughs> I have one egg left, so we can't mess this up. Okay, all purpose flour. Oh, brown sugar. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. And I make the crisscross peanut butter cookies. And I'm gonna grab my baking sheet and I am gonna grab parchment paper because like I said in my last video, I use parchment paper for everything because nothing sticks. It's always good. should be like a light brown just like that see how partial paper makes the bottom perfect and they just come right off they don't stick okay so I picked up my dishes I hand washed a few things and now I'm going to show you guys what to do about the butterscotch chips literally you just dump the butterscotch chips in the peanut butter mixture my peanut butter mixture always comes out kind of like crumbly but you just Because I do have quite a bit of batter left, I did stick a hefty amount in there probably. today i hope you enjoyed my little home tour and baking some cookies with me if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel thank you so much for watching i would love for you to subscribe remember to hit that notification bell down below to be reminded every time i upload a new video thanks guys